Okay guys, I'm back in Garena's video test. This time I'm going to review the cars again, the ones that I don't have in my account, uh, only in JCCC. The ones I got shot were Windshear and uh, what was the other one? Dark Edge. Eh? Okay, I think we start with uh, Dark Edge first, one, all right? So Dark Edge is a car. There's no gacha for Dark Edge actually. Eh? The only way to get is uh, supplies right now. I don't think there was a box last time. But yeah, uh, its ability is more to speed, eh? that's it. Every double boost has 25% chance of increasing mini boost duration by 0.2 seconds. Okay, and raising mini boost power by 15% for 8 seconds. So this car is actually tier 7, eh? and um, full mod is, if I'm not mistaken, it's all left. So let me mod all left first. Okay, guys, so there you go. Uh, left, 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 alright. So let me test this first. Okay. Normal speed for Dark Edge 199.4. Double boost is 241.2. CWW is 303.3. 303, yeah. One of those cars. WCW 286.6. Let me test again because just now it activated eh, the ability. Okay, really 303.3 and WCW. Okay, I think it's the same. So WCWW 307.5. Is it really that low? Yes, it is 307.5. Okay, so it's one of those low cars, eh? But still faster than Sirius, though. 303.3. <laughs> Okay, so Dark Edge is tier 7, but with Infinity Chip, how much? Buff. Oh, hold on. Top Sweep plus 2.2. Nitro Max Sweep plus 1.2. And a lot of power power increase there. Mini Boost plus 2. Collision plus 100. Okay, this is a lot of buff. Eh? Dark Edge is a lot of buff. And confirm the modding. It's left, left, left. Correct. So now, with Infinity Chip, normal speed is... 201.4 Double boost 245.1 CWW 307.6 So 303 went to 307 eh? WCW 290.5 Okay And WCW 312.4 Okay so this is another one car that uh, buff a lot eh? from 300 what? 7, now 312. Okay. Oh yeah, and you, if you check all the maps eh, with Citrus Replay, there is a car Professional and a car Advanced method. Eh? The Advanced method is always Dark Edge. Citrus will always use Dark Edge for every map. So yeah, that's where the Dark Edge actually come from. Eh? It's for Citrus uh, Replay but for advanced method. So anyway, um, let's see what this car test track is. Dunes of Time. Okay, Dunes of Time then. I always hit that hey, it's you. Wow, 
118. Oh, new record. <laughs> nice. Eh? Let's go. Rank again. So, uh, Dark Edge, eh? win rank. First game. It's not as bad as I think. The infinity chip, uh, the infinity chip helps. <laughs> I remember last time playing this card, it's not, it's, uh, it's not that good. But wow. Ah, that's why my heavy bit. Did I just get Dominator? No, <laughs> Zoe managed to finish. Okay, that could have been Dominator. <laughs> Second game, Colon Cathedral. No wonder these cars are. Are they? I think they are. Uh, in the tier ranking, I think they are buff until tier two, maybe. Not sure. I, I didn't check the ranking, but I'm pretty sure these cars are ranked. This uh, lifting is very strong, very easy to control. Nice. Dominated this time. Yeah. <laughs> Plus eight. Wow. Alright, I'll stop at three races. Oh, we got NPC and please load. I'm using Wi Fi. <sighs> I should have just stick to data. No, why does this happen to me every single time? Okay, never play, never play on Wi-Fi. God damn it. Ah! Okay, let's see. Try again, eh? Okay, Rose Race is the last game for Dark Age.
Where am I supposed to use ECU again? I don't remember. I need a jump. Dang, could I get below that? 130. Okay, that's it for uh, Dark Edge. The next car I'll do advancement. Alright, so now next car I'm reviewing is Windshear. The second car I got from Supplies. Actually, this is the first car. <laughs> Dark Edge is the second one. But never mind. So Windshear uh, without Infinity Chip, this was due uh, last time uh, when early early the game uh, was in Season 1, Season 2 Windshear was the fastest car of all compared to any other car until Spirit Breaker This was the fastest car But now, no, uh, not anymore And even with Infinity Chip, actually not anymore It's not fast as before but windshield is tier 6 uh, It's more to speed and also ability in the air So if you look at the characteristic After every 4th time using double boost or flying boost You instantly get a mini boost So for characteristic not really that useful I'll say It's basically if you do 4 flying boost or double boost You just get an uh, extra mini boost But that mini boost doesn't really uh, help much I'll say <laughs> But Look at the buffs here. Um, okay, not that much, but here you see, it looks like there's a lot. Eh? But we're gonna test without Infinity Chip first. Modding is all left. Eh? Let me mod everything first. And there you go. Left, 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 left. Okay, let's test uh, wind shear. Alright, normal speed now is 199. Double boost. 245.1 and CWW 308.4 yeah let's look at that this is one of the early game cars that has uh, fast CW WCW 289.9 and WCW 308.8 no that can't be 313 wow okay so yeah, this is one of the cars that uh, has uh, fastest CW eh, last time, last time. And then eh, I get a mini boost. <laughs> That's the only ability. You do four double boosts, you get a mini boost. But now with Infinity Chip, how much buff will there be? Let's find out. Again, eh, let, me, let me take a look. Top speed plus 0.9, basic power plus 6, charge time plus 4, quick, bo quick boost time plus 5%, mini boost power plus 8, nitro power plus 10, collision weight plus 100, and something minus 4. And also the feature, feature means there's a ability change, but in here it's numbers, eh? so <laughs> I don't know what's the feature actually. And confirm the modding, it's left, left, oh no it's right. The left, right, left, left. Okay, why is this right? Okay, the right SC has stronger mini boost power and also longer nitro duration. Okay, we'll compare this one and eh, left and right later. So uh, I'll leave it left first. Okay, later I'll test this one more time with uh, the recommended modding. Eh. But right now everything is modded left. Eh. Top speed is. 
200 no 109.8 not even 200 okay double boost 246 that's quite good CWW 309.2 oh, 309 eh? WCW 290.8 oh but I got a boost just now wait 290 or 293 WCW 290 okay just now I got another boost that's how it went 293 WCWW 313.8 okay 313.9 okay not not it 313.9 okay that's very fast eh actually it's the it's the mini boost lah. it's the mini boost that is making me getting more speed sometimes the extra mini boost <laughs> okay it doesn't increase eh? it's still 309 when I do but WCW just not increase okay so this is one car that reached 309 eh? after infinity chip Makes sense because it's one of the fastest cars last time. But uh, that is left, 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 left. What if I follow the recommended and mod right? Okay, let me test one more time. Okay, now left, right, left, left. Eh? What's the difference? Normal speed is 109.7, a bit slower by 0.1. Double boost 246.1 that is actually faster. CWW 308.7 okay that is actually lower. WCW 290.2 I boost again it 290.5 okay. WCWW 313.4 that is also lower. So yeah I think left 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 is better because left right left left your speed is a bit slower 308 only not 309 so yeah for this modding i recommend all left lah. still follow the tier list don't follow the recommended okay change back to left already and what is the test track for this highway one okay okay so i wonder what is the characteristic that's changed eh? It's supposed to be 4 double boost or flying boost And then I don't know if I can see the number now Since I already modded the infinity chip Yeah, I don't see the number anymore Oh, I got mini boost already Hey! Charge your boost Oh yeah, the charger's loose. Sorry. Yeah. Damn, stop it. What the heck? Okay, let me take out the charger. Oh, I got me boost. <laughs> well, maybe you can use the mini boost for continuous. If you are, want, want to do continuous, you can use the mini boost. <laughs> Maybe. But it won't help your speed. Ah! Oh yeah, there's so many mistakes. <laughs> and I think my charger is broken now. Alright, anyway. Okay, now for wind shear. Oh, 
aí está Nunes. Ei! Oh, nada me lipos. I guess the mini push just helps you add one more continuous if you are doing continuous somehow. <laughs> Dominate? Oh yeah, Dominate. <laughs> Alright. Second game. Dragon Gate. I can actually continue. Oh, yeah. See the What? Okay, I agree. Lah. The extra mini boost actually helps a bit. Uh, it helps uh, adding one more additional continuous boost. One more to go. Final game. Snow brewery. All right. Oh, I can swap car already. <laughs> well, do I need to swap anything? Nah, it's fine. Oh, I got an extra boost. You like that? <laughs> okay, Diamond 2 
Okay then, so I guess I'll summarize up these two cars. So for Dark Edge, yeah, I, it may have weak drift, but for me it doesn't feel like it's weak at all. It was quite good just now when I used uh, the Dark Edge. It felt like it had strong drift. So maybe because its speed isn't that fast, so it felt like it's a good uh, it's a good car actually. And it's thruster, you can see it's thruster is strong. Eh? So when uh, I did double boost, there was a chance that mini boost duration increased. So your continuous can be a bit longer. And also mini boost power, your acceleration. I'll say Dark Edge is quite decent. Eh? I'll say decent. <laughs> and for wind shear, uh, I cannot see the ability but I know, it, uh, I remember still. Eh? It gives you a mini boost every four times, eh? four times you do double boost or flying boost, eh? I think if I'm not wrong. So it makes sense that eh? it's in the, uh, suitable for jumping maps, eh? suitable for multiple jumping maps. I can see why now, because uh, if you are continu doing continuous and this extra mini boost may help you add one more continuous. So I want to say it kind of feels a bit not not really eh, but it feels a little bit eh? a bit like as adjudicator but the mini boost doesn't store like adjudicator this one is just uh, if it activates you have to use that mini boost before it disappears eh? that's a uh, that's a speciality of a uh, wind shear but without infinity chip last time it was very terrible eh? the the, uh, the other states are quite terrible <laughs> But now with Infinity Chip, I can see why this is a rank. Okay, so that's it for Wind Shear and uh, Dark Edge. Next up, I'll review Saga and also whatever car I'm getting from supplies. Actually, I already know what car I'm getting already. Maybe I haven't showed the video yet. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's it for this review for Dark Edge and Wind Shear. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.